And for now, it's a Samsung Galaxy Tab S6, and today I'll show you a couple of tweaks and tricks that I can do on this device. So starting off, we're gonna begin with the well, split screen function, which on this display or this device it will be actually a fairly good one, uh, based oh, because it's a tablet, so it's a fairly big display. So number one, you want to start off by opening an app that you wish to use. Uh, so it doesn't really matter which one you open. Uh, some of them although might not be supported so if you open an app and it just closes off your uh, basically goes into forefront and closes the other one that means that the app that you have just picked is uh, not supported in split screen um, but majority of them should work just fine so we can start off by for instance opening up the gallery let's just allow there's nothing in here yep it's empty so once you have opened that what you want to do is pull the side panel right here and you will have a bunch of like apps right here that uh, I assume might be here based on how often you use them. You can also tap here and just get the entire app drawer. And then from there what you want to do is simply, for instance, grab an app, drag it over, drop it. Now you don't need a pen for this, it works normally uh, with your finger too, as you can see. You can use a finger as well to do the same thing. So it's not dependent on the pen. And from here you can now use two different apps at the same time. Now if I am also correct, I believe you might be actually able to use a third one. There we go. So if you drop it, drag it on the metal, you can see, uh, drop here for pop-up view. And if you do that, you'll have a smaller window, which you can just drag around. You can, oops, I by mistake just closed it by clicking off of it. Let's try that again. There we go. And here you can also resize it. As you can see, there is a little resize thing that appears under the pen. So if you grab it, there we go. You can see this blue line. If I drag, drop it, it will now extend. So as you can see, I can use this normally. Also the app behind it is still usable and this as well. So everything works very nicely. So you also have a couple other other things you can minimize it to an app head as you can see this little thing kind of like a Facebook app head and you tap on it it goes back up to full view. Uh, you have opacity which makes it a little bit more transparent as you can see now you can see the video in behind. Well this app is still fully usable and you can also make it full screen which will put it onto one of the sides as you can see right now and if you want to close the apps or just exit the split screen all you need to do is just drag the line all the way over and close it yeah so the other thing i want to show is a couple of the features of the pen so apart from you being able to just simply interact with the uh, with the tablet with it um, you can also use things like right here you have creative notes uh, basically you can use notes for it um, which if we go into notes you can normally just type on it uh, as you can see uh, now the pen works really well in terms of like how let's say if you press it hard you can see that the line is thick if i just gently tap on it you can see it's thin so it does react to the pressure of it and also you have additional apps for it uh, to convert text or written text to an actual like uh, uh, typed in text on the device so that's also nice um, you have also live messages which will launch the camera if I remember correctly. Yep, there we go. So you have a couple things you can do here. Uh, apart from that, um, you have notes, uh, AR draw that also launches a camera and detects your face and you can draw basically in your face and it will keep uh, the... Let me just show it. I think it, that's going to be easier. Allow, allow, allow. Hmm, let me just fix that, there we go. So now as you can see it detects my face. So as you can see, 
in this case it will just keep to my face uh, whatever I draw on it um, so you could get creative with it and then have translation so you can write something and translate it I am um, but one additional thing that that you can find here uh, that is built into the device if you go into create a note I believe let's just make it full screen we should have a ability to draw in here as long as I can find it uh, if it was actually in here actually might have not been here um, There we go. So once you tap on here, you'll have the entire palette, um, colors, and you can start just getting creative. So you have different kind of uh, tools for this, as you can see. Um, and it works fairly interesting. So as you can see, it starts like mixing the colors together, uh, depending on what you put it as a color. So just a nice app that comes built in and this is done in the notes so as you can see when you click on done it's still a note and you can still type something below it. There we go. So you can create notes along with drawings and stuff like that. Now moving on, uh, the other thing while we're on the drawing and pen, uh, the other app that I personally really like which this is something that you would need to download, but it's free and you don't need to pay anything for it. it would be the Adobe Sketch. And once it loads up, you just connect with Google. So just disregard the tutorial right here. So you'll get the Adobe Draw. And the thing that I love in here is the specifically the pen or uh, pencil more precisely uh, which works really well so you do kind of feel like you are actually using a, a pencil and as you can see depending on how quick and how hard you press on it it will change the opacity of that pen now Unfortunately, one thing that I find lacking in here, you can't really uh, shade well, unless you, the only way you could do it is by, for instance, increasing the size and just as an example, doing something like this, then dropping the opacity. So you'd have to do it in this way. Um, you cannot like, for instance, smear it with your finger uh, to make it blurry, which I would really like personally uh, kind of used to doing that with normal drawing and uh, also you will see right here some stuff that I have created before uh, now just so I don't take the credit um, I was using a uh, someone else's work as an example um, uh, just so I have something to like copy I'm not really good at being creative uh, but as you can see um, the outcome is really nice in my opinion and you can zoom in and see how it looks like. And this is all done with the pencil or pencil, uh, the version of a pencil on here. So just a nice app for just all kinds of creative stuff. And moving on, um, going back to the tweaks, I guess, uh, would be the notification panel. Uh, now, if you're holding the tablet in normal like portrait mode, uh, it will be really difficult to reach all the way to the top if you're trying to do it with one hand or for instance you might not want to so normally you have to reach all the way to the top and from the top of the screen pull it down to get notification panel and if you just pull it down from here you get the up drawer you pull up you also get the up drawer and there's actually a way to change it so you pull up for up drawer and pull down for notification panel instead of the up drawer which I personally find really nice so to get this going, let's go into the settings right here. And from settings, we want to go under the display. And from display, home screen. So let's find that home screen right here. And there should be somewhere in toggle. Swipe down for notification panel right here. Enable this, leave it. And you can see I'm opening now notification panel by swiping down. And I'm not basically swiping as low as I can and it will still open it up. 
and applications can be accessed by swiping up. So just a really nice and handy way of opening up the application, uh, the notifications. So moving on then, we're gonna go into the daily board and this is just a equivalent of something like a Google uh, page, which when you swipe to it, when you first set it up, it will give you a bunch of things that it can enable. And I, where will it be? Notices maybe? Nope. Which one was it? So we have some kind of tips. Okay, there we go. So in here, you have all the things that you can enable, disable. Uh, so if you don't want something showing on your board, you can basically get rid of it like TikTok. And then um, to reload, you also can organize the, the position of it. So if you want something like uh, the weather channel at the top, as the first thing visible. There we go, you just do it like this. Go back. Go back. And there we go, weather channel. And when you scroll down, you have the next thing and the next. So you have a bunch of information uh, that you can customize. Um, a bunch of different things you can actually show in here. Which, uh, like I said before, you can kind of change around right here. Now, in terms of uh, how this should work, uh, when you plug it in, I believe it should be showing this by default, but if I plug it in, it doesn't really do anything, so I haven't really tried it too much on how it exactly works, but you can mess around and see. Uh, this should be showing when you're charging. So, moving on, uh, the other thing that I want to show is just a simple dark mode. If you're not a fan of everything being white, um, you can go into the settings and then under the display you will find the light and dark mode and when you turn it to the dark it will change it to this as you can see it affects basically everything uh, including apps Oops. including apps and uh, just the standard applications that come preloaded now not every application will be supported by this so keep that in mind uh, apps that you download through play store uh, sometimes will not support dark mode uh, the ones that do will automatically be uh, be affected based on uh, if your device is set to dark or light mode or just have a specific toggle inside of the settings of the app and the last thing that i wanted to show would be the navigate just your navigations so by default you have enable the device come enabled with the buttons as you can see and it's 2020 most of us are probably using gestures by now um, so let's enable that so go into the settings and then again display and from here we're gonna go into the navigation bar right over here and you have full screen gestures and when you enable that it will turn that bar on there and basically a like pill and if you're not sure how it works you swipe up to go home as you just seen swipe up go home swipe up and hold will open up recents and swipe from the sides i believe let me just open something that can swipe from the side yep swipe from the side you can see this arrow up here so that's basically your back and on this device uh, so if you tried this on other samsung devices um not all of them have it um some previous uh either versions of the Android or Samsung, you still have uh, the gesture navigation, but they would basically substitute it to have three bars and each bar would be equivalent of the button itself. So it was kind of pointless in a way, but this is the good, good gesture navigation, which works really well. And as you can see, have the, basically like every other device nowadays has it. So back from the sides and recent and home at the bottom. But yeah, this would conclude everything that I want to show. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.